Hi, I'm Tanmay Agarwal. And I'm Navreet Kaur. From New Delhi, India. And we are youth leaders with Project Unified. Generation Unified is important to me because it is a great platform to bring ideas into existence. I've been associated with Special Olympics for the past three years. I don't know anyone who's specially able. In fact, my first interaction with children with ID was through Special Olympics. And since then, the journey has been fun. I came to learn about them and understand their needs. I was the one with all the conventional orthodox ideas implanted in my head. And I'm the one today who knows by heart that specially able children can do anything. Through Generation Unified, we can turn our project into reality and change the perceptions of people in society, just like Special Olympics did to us. Generation Unified is important to me since I have been in close association with a number of people who are intellectually differently able. Having seen them play and perform, I have come to terms with how able, proficient and differently talented my special friends are. All the same, I have come to learn about their inhibitions and insecurities and I'm learning how to support them through these. I want to do more and more to make people realize that in some areas, the mainstream might have an upper hand, but it should be used only to help our special friends out. We as a society today are unfortunately not able to give children with special needs the position that they deserve. Learning from the leaders in the Youth Summit will empower us with tools with which we can carry out our agenda for unification of these children with the mainstream in a greater way. Through our project and our personal initiatives, we want to make these children independent so that they can show the world what wonders they're capable of. If I get this opportunity, I would love to delve deeper into the entire concept of inclusion and integration and learn from my fellow leaders their ideas to accomplish the same. It would be an amazing experience to spend quality time with special people and interact, understand, develop relations and have fun with them. This opportunity would also inspire me and give me the drive to keep working towards this cause, which is so close to my heart. Ten years would hopefully turn our society into a place which has acceptance and inclusion already integrated into its basic framework, where everyone is an equal in terms of both ability and opportunity. I hope that in ten years' time, organizations like ours become obsolete, a society in which we don't need to tell people that all of us are equally capable, that people with ID are just like us. I wish it becomes a well-known fact. The idea is a bit utopian, but it's my dream. With this, we'd like to conclude by saying that I choose not to place a diss in my ability because the only disability in life is a bad attitude.